Hey, what's happening guys? I got a neat little circuit for you today. This is from my classic circuits you should know uh, series. And what we have here is a latching push button switch. So basically you push the button once, it turns on, you push it again, it turns off. So why would you want something like this? Well, say you're designing a project and you want to use one button for power and you want to use a nice button like maybe you know this one here or that one there one of those two right well in that case you don't want to put in a couple of different buttons and you know you don't want to throw in a whole bunch of complicated circuitry you know, always remember kiss keep it simple stupid this is a neat little circuit let me show you how it works okay here is our schematic and at the heart of it Oops, I forgot to label it. This is our old friend, the 555 timer. Pin 4, which or pin 8, which is VCC, and pin 4, which are reset, are tied to ground, or tied to VCC. In this case, I'm just using 5 volts. You know, you can go up to 12 volts, doesn't matter. Pin 1, which is our ground, is tied to ground. Pin 2, our trigger is tied to pin 6, our threshold. Pin 7 is left unconnected. And pin 3 is our output, which in this case is going to an LED, but you can use it for other stuff, and I'll show you that. Like for instance, how to drive a relay. And it's also feeding back, and we'll get into that in one second. So here is where the magic happens. Over here is our switch. And as you saw in my little demo, Press the switch, it turns on. Press it again, it turns off. So we have right here this little voltage divider. And that is feeding into pin 6 and 2. And then we have our switch, which is also going through the voltage divider. And we have a capacitor here going to ground. And it's also getting this output voltage here. It's just for uh, current limiting. So basically the way this circuit works... When pin 3, our output pin, is high, our capacitor is charged. And when it's low, the capacitor is discharged. So when we press the switch, the voltage that is on this capacitor appears at pin 6 and 2. And that changes the output state of pin 3 by driving the internal flip-flop of the 555 timer. So if, if pin 3 is high, then we're going to see about 2.5 volts here. And if we see it here, we see it here. When pin 3 is low, we're going to see 0 volts here. Bing, bong, and it just turns the flip-flop on and off. It's really that simple. Now, I said it could do other things. I always use an LED just because it's a simple uh, visual demonstration. But say you want to use it to uh, drive a relay for your circuit. There's our VCC and our ground. We'll plug our relay here into a pin 3. I got it connected to this relay here. You'll be able to see that little LED turn on. So we press it. Boom, relays on, boom, relays off. Um, this is going to output you know, maybe 200 milliamps or so, max. So you can use that to drive whatever you want with about a 200 milliamp max. It's just a really nice, elegant way to have one button turn something on and turn it off at the same time. And the circuit's not that difficult. I mean, you could, you could clean up that little wiring mess. It's really simple to use. This, and this isn't the only way to do a latching switch. There are, there are many other ways. This is just a simple one that uses a 555 timer. You know, something we're all familiar with and we know how to use. It's basically a play on the bi-stable mode of the 555 timer. So... I like it. It's a neat little circuit. It's a classic little circuit. You, you really should know how to put together uh, latching switches for the circuits you're going to build. They're useful. They're neat. 
and they're fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.